sekolah setuju bila itu dikunci dan just let them stay inside. Woi, woi, siapa buka pintu? Oh my god. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so, sekarang ni tepat jam 12 tengah malam. Dan hari ni kita ada satu video yang dipanggil Seismic Seram Jam 12. So apa kita orang buat malam ni guys adalah kita orang akan bercerita pasal um, cerita-cerita hantu asrama urban legend. Dan setiap pada kita orang akan bacakan cerita itu untuk korang semua dengar. Dan kalau ada sebarang kisah ataupun experience yang nak dikongsi. Kita akan kongsi sekejap lagi. Habis. Allah Tuhan ku depan aku ni cermin. <laughs> cermin ni betul-betul depan cermin. So korang dah ready? Okay. Ready. Mari kita mulakan. Mak datang. Hello. Nama cerita ni adalah Bilik kosong blok A tingkat 3 nombor 5. Masa mula-mula orientasi kat sekolah kita orang macam ada briefing kat musola blok B tingkat 1. Lepak-lepak kat koridor. Lepas tu terpandanglah satu bilik blok A tingkat 3 yang tertutup. Bilik nombor 5. Ada seorang budak tu kata bilik ni memang dah ditutup sejak aktif lagi. Wah, intense music. <laughs> Sebab bilik tu dah ada penghuni tetap. Aku tengok tembok koridor depan bilik tu kosong. Bilik sebelah-sebelah dan lain-lain penuh dengan kasut sekolah yang dijemur. Ceritanya, sesiapa yang jemur kasut termasuk sikit je kawasan depan bilik tu, esoknya kasut tu akan ada ke atas bumbung kolah mandi yang terletak di tengah-tengah antara dua blok. Patutnya banyak kasut buruk atas bumbung kolah tu. Nak dijadikan cerita, ada seorang budak tu nama dia Sally. Dia duduk di asrama blok C. Satu hari dia lalu dekat dewan makan tem petang macam tu. Lepas tu ada ibu bapa macam tengah tunggu anak dia kat dewan makan. Normally ada orang kat konti radio asrama kat bawah tu akan buat announcement, panggil pelajar kalau mak bapak dia orang datang. Tapi petang tu tak ada orang. So parents tu minta tolong Sally panggilkan anak dia orang bernama Nurul. Di bilik A Dua Lima Betul-betul bawah bilik yang ditutup tu So Sally pun gigih lah berlari naik tangga Tangga blok A ini pun terletak di between bilik lima dan bilik enam Entah macam mana Sally terlajak naik sampai tingkat tiga Terus menuju ke bilik sebelah tangga Tapi yang seramnya pintu bilik tu terbuka Lepas tu dia nampak budak-budak perempuan kat dalam tu semua berkemban dengan sikat-sikat rambut. Dia What? tak fikir apa-apa terus bertanya. Assalamualaikum. Nurul siapa? Parents dia tengah tunggu kat bawah. Semua pandang. Dan ada seorang jawab. Awak salah bilik. Dia bilik bawah. Sini jawab. Oh, ya ke? Sorry, sorry. Terima kasih. Terus dia turun ke bilik bawah dan panggil budak yang sebenar turun. Bila dia balik ke bilik, dia gelak-gelak cerita pengalaman yang memalukan tersalah bilik kat kakak-kakak bilik dia. Bila dia sebut bilik atas iaitu A35, kakak-kakak bilik dia terkejut. Kakak-kakak bilik cakap bilik tu kosong dan dah bertahun-tahun tutup. Menangis-nangis Sally bila tahu cerita pasal bilik tingkat tiga tu. Patutlah dia kata semua sikat rambut. Rambut pula panjang-panjang. Tak perasan paras mana. Rapunzo. Malam tu dia juga suruh mak bapak dia ambil. Tak lama lepas tu terus keluar dari asrama. Pergi sekolah ulang alik je. Lepas tu kecoh satu sekolah. Padahal benda tak kacau orang luar pun. Kecuali kalau lalu depan bilik dia orang dalam bilik. Itu pasal bilik tu berkunci. Dikatakan puncanya disebabkan budak-budak bilik tu dulu gatal pergi main spirit-spirit yang melampau. Gatal. Then, benda tu terus tak nak balik. Katil-katil digegar, ditarik dan macam-macam lagi. Panggil ustaz azankan depan pintu tapi orang-orang yang ada masa tu langsung tak dengar ustaz tu. Entah macam mana pula deal 
pihak sekolah setuju bilik itu dikunci dan just let them stay inside daripada mengganggu kat luar. Hello. Wee. Apa? Woi, woi, siapa buka pintu? Ha? Oh my god. So macam aku aku tak pernah jumpa alhamdulillah lah. Bukan tak pernah jumpa tak pernah yang macam kena teruk. Tapi masa perkemahan lagi masih ingat lagi masa perkemahan pengangkap masa tu dah jah 6 dan masa tu aku dah jah 5. Perkembangan dalam hutan So you know lah um, Like kalau pengangkal punya perkembangan At night dia akan ada night walk Tapi dalam masa oh, Melayu dia panggil um, Burung hantu Si buta ah, ha, si buta, Sayang si buta macam tu lah So kita orang kena like, By group lah four, Empat orang kot dengan seorang akak FSC tolong bawa Lepas tu kita orang menyanyi lagu Rasa sayang hey, Rasa sayang Dalam hutan sayang, hey. Mana boleh nyanyi dalam hutan, bodoh. Ah, masa ni dekat sebab kita orang macam agak dekat okey. Sekarang ni jangan takut sebab a uh, okay, try ni lagu. Kita orang okey, jom kita nyanyi lagu ni. Ayuh, Tentu dah jadi lima. Lepas tu, cakap betul. Ada bunyi perempuan macam nangis. Dia macam mengilai yang tu. Aku dah tak mampu cubuk oi aku dah ya Allah tu ayah Allah tuan. Daripada rasa sayang hati kita orang terus tukar ayat kursi. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lalu tu Takak tu bunyi akak tu selamba cakap jangan pandang atas dia dekat atas. Tu tak bunyi dia kena. Serius ada cakap macam tu. Ah sebab sebab masa tu kita dengar bunyi semua orang dah takut. Lepas tu bunyi dia macam ni. Serius ah. Lah <laughs> yang kakak tu letak voice recording lah. <laughs> I don't know lah if kakak tu tak betul tapi waktu tu memang cuak kita orang suruh baca like you know like, like macam kita orang recite Like a verse from Al-Quran lah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Terus ajar laju Allahu la ilaha illahu Allah ayu la kayum La atau huzu sinna tuwa la na'um Lahu maafis sama Sampai balik Ni Kumpul ramai kan Tadi kan group by group Lepas tu kumpul ramai tu Alhamdulillah Tapi Alhamdulillah tak ada apalah Awak tu time tu je lah Tapi kita orang pun tak sure Akak tu yang kena kan ke apa Tapi time tu masa yang lima Okay cerita ni tajuk dia Hantu banduan Masa hari pertama sekolah Kiranya masuk form 1 okay, Malam tu dalam pukul, tiga, pukul 2 pagi Aku tersedar Tak tahu pasal apa boleh tersedar tiba-tiba macam tu So bila dah tersedar Aku keluar lah dari dorm Dan jalan kat koridor Aku pandang bawah Aku tengok blok lain Tapi aku pun tak tahu asal aku berani sangat Keluar pukul 2 pagi kan waktu tu So lepas jalan-jalan aku masuk dorm Baring atas katil Masa tu Semua kawan dah tidur mati Ada bunyi kipas buruk je Macam Itu je kan Dan Lepas aku selimutkan badan Aku dengar orang bunyi Jalan-jalan tau Dekat koridor Aku pun buka mata Tapi tak ada apa pun kan So aku macam fikir lah Mungkin kawan kot Pergi tandas ha, Tak apa lah Sambung lah tidur Lepas tu after a few minutes Dengar lagi orang jalan Tapi oh. kali ni Bukan tapak kaki je yang bunyi Ada bunyi nafas lagi <laughs> Aku tengah imagine Macam tu oh. Tapi bunyi tu Macam dekat gila tau oh. Lepas tu Lama-lama Macam dekat bunyi tu Lepas tu Lama-lama bunyi tu Macam Macam orang gelak tau oh. Macam Tengok Tengok Eh, hey, masa tu macam cerita dia memang tak berani lah nak buka mata kan Aku dah fikir bukan-bukan lah, tu kot Yang ni kan, takkan orang kan macam bunyi macam tu kan So, tak lama lepas tu Memang sah, memang ada bunyi footstep Masuk dalam dom aku Lepas tu, bunyi nafas tu Lagi aku dengar macam Eh, hey, aku tak berani lah buka mata Ya, macam aku takut kot Takut terpandang lembaga hodoh ke kan Nampak macam ada benda ke rambut panjang Lepas tu tiba-tiba Katil aku kena goyang Dan tu badan aku dah memang shaking gila lah Mata pun pejam macam like pecam je kan Dan Aku selimut pun aku selimut betul semua Takut hantu tu tarik selimut pula kan 10 minit ni tu Katil aku digoyang goyang lagi tau Macam gang 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 Weh aku tak lama-lama dah macam tu 10 minit ke ah kaki aku kena goyang. Lepas tu hilang. Bila lega ah lepas dah hilang kan. 
Tapi hilang-hilang pun lepas tu aku dengar pula ada orang tarik besi weh kat sebelah tingkap. Bunyi tu. Weh, lepas tu macam aku fikirlah kan, takkan senior pula nak datang usik masa ni kan. Takkan lah kan. Bunyi dia macam jelas gila, makin lama makin kuat. Weh, kan. Lepas tu tiba kan, dan enak dia aku boleh dengar bunyi orang tembak tau. Lepas tu jerit kuat. Dengar macam bunyi macam orang jatuh macam tum 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 orang jatuh tau. Oi mas, masa macam kat situ ah kejadian tu stop kat situ je. Tak lama tak lama lepas tu aku dengar bunyi azan. Masa aku dengar bunyi alam member, aku rasa lega gila ah. Masa bila aku tanya sini, memang kawasan sekolah ni dulu ada tempat seorang banduan bunuh diri. Dia cakap kalau aku pergi tengok dekat satu pokok, dekat bilik band, orang kata macam bilik band tu macam bilik banyak kisah hantu lah. Akan ada satu rantai kaki tergantung di pucat atas pokok. Dan ya masa aku tengok dekat pokok tu memang ada rantai. Tapi aku ragu-ragu lah dengan cerita dia kan. Tapi bila aku tanya adik aku, adik aku yang sekolah kat situ pasal gangguan dia, dia kata member adik aku ni pun pernah kena. Macam tu lah. Ni experience you ke? Tak, ni cerita, ni cerita artikel. Wow, tapi best storyteller. Tapi kalau cerita experience I, um, masa tu I dengan kawan-kawan I tau. Kita orang shoot short film dekat Victoria oh, Institution. Victoria Institute. Yes. Yeah. I shoot kat situ. So, ni shooting. So, shooting ah. Hari pertama tak ada apa-apa lah kan. Macam kita orang pun masih nak adapt dengan situation tu kan. Okey lah, layan je, layan, layan, layan. Lepas tu, hari kedua. Hari kedua dah mula macam benda-benda pelik berlaku. Ha, masa tu lah. Benda yang pertama berlaku is masa kita orang tengah shoot, bateri kamera kita orang mati. Like literally mati yang tiba-tiba tau. Lepas tu, member, member, salah-salah member ayah dia cakap, eh kita stop dulu shoot. Kita tengok dulu bateri kan. Bateri baru tukar okay guys. Bateri banyak okay. Kita orang ada bateri yang banyak tau kamera. Bateri habis. Siapa jaga itu bateri tu? Hai. Kamera ya. rosak macam Buyu. tak boleh nak on, tak boleh nak apa tau. Sebab so, macam eh. Ah, tak apa lah, tak apa aku kan. Hari keesokannya kita orang tiga hari tau kat sana. Hari yang ketiga tu sekali kita orang pelik tau. Ada satu kelas yang kita orang pernah masuk tak ada apa-apa tau. Tiba-tiba kat dalam kelas tu ada satu ada macam kerusi yang banyak gila di stackkan ke atas 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 sampai ke sampai ke siling tau. Sampai ke siling. Dia stack tau. Dia macam very macam kemas gila stack tau. Lepas tu kita orang macam tu guard lah tu. No, I mean like guard guard tak naik. Sebab kalau guard naik guard tu pula rajin kan nak letak kerusi dia satu sampai betul. And satu lagi guard tak ada Kita orang patut kalau betul kan guys, kalau betul kalau betul dia yang guard tu yang letak kita orang mesti dengar bunyi tau. Betul tak? Kerusi kan? Kerusi kan kuat kan? Bising kan? Tapi tak dengar bunyi apa lah. Lepas tu bila kita tengok, macam eh, asal lu stack ni kan? Macam pelik lah. Macam eh, benda ni. Dan dia sampai siling tau. Lepas tu kita orang terfikir, siapa yang buat benda ni? Sebab pintu grill sentiasa kunci lepas kita orang habis shoot. Kita orang akan cakap, cakap jaga tu, jaga kita orang dah habis shoot, dia kunci dan kita orang balik. Itu lah, tu experience aku lah. Tapi Alhamdulillah tak pernah nampak lah. Okay, tajuk dia is Satu dah tidur Dua dah Ayuh. tidur Ayuh. Tiga dah tidur Oh my god, cerita ni saya tahu doh. Sumpah ni cerita ni seram gila Tak tidur lagi <laughs> Aduh Saya mula kenal Julia Kami mula rapat Sebab Masing-masing takut nak pergi tandas semalam-malam kami saling menemani bila nak terkencing malam-malam. Bodoh lah dia. Tak plan. Kami berdua memang tak percaya cerita hantu sini. Sebab sebelum saya daftarkan diri dekat asrama, abang saya dah bagi tahu awal-awal. Jangan dengar cerita hantu ni. Nak dijadikan cerita adalah satu hari ni. Tiba-tiba saya tak boleh nak lelapkan mata. Kata Julia, sebelah saya je. Saya nampak Julia dah tidur nyenyak dah. Yang lain pun dah tidur nyenyak juga. Saya tengok jam. 
pukul dua. Saya cuba nak tutupkan mata. Tak boleh. Sedang saya berguling ke kiri dan ke kanan, cuba nak lelapkan mata saya, saya terdengar macam ada orang buka tingkap bilik saya. Oh, Ui, bodoh lah. Bodoh lah, lah dia. <laughs> tingkap tu betul-betul depan kata saya. Saya boleh nampak tingkap tu sebab semua katil dah disusun menghadap ke tingkap itu. Katil saya yang keempat dari dinding. Saya memang tak fikir apa-apa lagi masa tu. Sampai saya terdengar suara. Satu. Dua. Tiga. Lepas saya dengar suara tu, saya terus teringat cerita senior masa mula-mula saya daftar dekat asrama. Katil satu dah tidur. Katil dua dah tidur. Katil tiga dah tidur. Hei, katil empat tak tidur. Eh, betul. <laughs> cerita ni dengan sepuluh kali pun sumpah seram. Ya, yeah, tu. Cerita saya s- memang tak sedap hati sebab s- memang saya katil keempat dari dinding. Saya baca semua surah yang saya hafal. Dalam keadaan yang sangat berterabur. Benda tu kira lagi. Katil satu dah tidur. Katil dua dah tidur. Katil tiga dah tidur. Hei. Empat tak tidur lagi. Badan saya memang dah gigil masa tu. Saya cuba panggil Julia dalam suara terketar-ketar. Juju! Juju! Julia! Tapi yang buatkan saya menggigil dan menangis bila saya dengar benda itu cakap, Julia dah tidur. Wee. Terus benda itu ketawa dengan kuat, saya terus jerit, pergi! Banyak kali Wee. saya cakap benda itu sampai semua pelajar dalam bilik saya terbangun. Saya langsung tak berani nak pandang, nak pandang benda tu. End of story, guys. Actually, I experience benda ni. You kena, serius lah. Dekat uh, my old house. So, um, masa tu, my cousins, my yeah, my cousins semua tidur rumah I lah. Dalam bilik I. So, there were like five of us. Dua orang tidur atas katil. Tiga orang lagi tidur dekat bawah katil lah. So, I... Ada dekat hujung sekali Nearby the katil lah So basically sebelah I is Sebelah kiri I is katil Sebelah kanan I is orang lah Which is my cousin Tiba-tiba I tengah tidur lah I tak tahu jam pukul berapa tau Dua uh, I'm not sure pukul berapa I rasa something Dekat my My left side Sebab my left side supposedly Memang tak ada siapa-siapa Just ada dinding of the katil je Dinding oh. ha, Dinding eh, katil je sepatutnya Tiba-tiba I tiba, rasa ada something kat bawah I tengok kat bawah I macam ni tau You tahu kan kalau orang baring I macam ni je I tak bangun So this is like I baring I macam ni So I macam pandang bawah And I saw um, White cloth Or macam bantal yang Macam bolster tu Lepas tu dia bergerak Towards me Macam ni So I can feel it Dekat my legs Masa tu Sumpah, I cuat gila, I nervous gila, I tak cakap apa-apa. Macam, I tak bergerak. You tahu tak, I terpaku macam orang, macam, macam orang Kena tak ada apa-apa lah. Macam, you memang tak, you macam ni je. I macam ni, literally, I beku, I freeze. Benda tu keep orang bergerak-gerak I. Tapi lelaki ni, dia tak cakap apa-apa ke apa lah. Dia just bergerak-bergerak. And then, I tak, I tak cakap apa-apa juga. I just uh, baca surah dalam hati lah. Lepas tu, uh, macam ada masjid lah nearby. Tapi dia just baca ayat Al-Quran ke apa-apa. Tapi benda tu still ada kat situ. So, I tak tidur sampai azan tu, azan azan keluar. Dia, dia macam, I tak tahulah dia still ada ke tak. Tapi I try to macam tutup mata I, kuat-kuat. Lepas tu, I macam baca je lah everything, apa-apa, apa-apa yang I hafal ke. I tak tahu, I rasa berterabur juga kot. Lepas tu, tiba-tiba dah pagi. And I tanya semua, Family, I mean yang dalam bilik I tu If diorang ada rasa apa-apa tak Malam tadi Diorang tak ada So I seorang je kena Tajuk dia 
Dah ingat ke? Dah tahu. <laughs> okay. Hai, nanti kau pergi dulu lah. Ini komedi ni. Kisah ni berlaku pada sebuah sekolah berasrama penuh di kawasan pantai timur. Okay. Last time kan, I kat asrama perempuan. Dan uh, ada seorang budak perempuan ni yang rajin study sampai malam-malam buta, okay? Kat bilik prep dia. <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. Very funny lah. Okay, okay. Then, malam-malam buta. Very scary, very scary, very scary. Okay, okay. Sampai malam buta kat bilik prep dia. Okay. Then, satu malam tu, dia tak sedar yang she's the only one kat bilik study tu. So, okay lah. Ni korang kos Sri sangat rajin kan. So, dia pun study lah dengan kusyuknya. Wah. Sampai satu part, dia tak faham. Dia nak tanya lah kat member dia yang kat sebelah tu kawan dia, okay? Dia tak sedar lagi benda tu bukan orang. Wih. Masuk dia nak tanya tu, matanya terpandang kat bawah meja budak ni. Dia perasan member ni tak ada kaki. Oh my god. Oh, you just scared scary. Lepas tu dia kata, tak apalah, tak ingat macam mana nak buat. So, lebih kurang macam tu lah dia. Cakap sambil berkira-kira nak belas secepat mungkin. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Then, huh? yang, ha? Dia, dia own self solve. Okay, he try, try to solve oh, okay, herself. Okay. Uh, uh, so, dia just count, 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 count. But suddenly, member tu pula tiba-tiba tanya. Dah ingat ke? Dah tahu? Ha. Maksudnya dah tahu ke yang dia tu hantu? Oh my god. Hmm. Oh shit. Budak ni terus lari balik dorm dia. Woo, pisau men. Ha. Okay, cerita you punya experience. Okay, okay, okay. hiking, hiking. Ha, ready or not? Okay. So, got this mountain in Vietnam. I where was I? Ah, ha Long Bay. Ha. It's called Bai To Mountain. Okay? So, when I went there that time, dia tutup. When I, but I didn't know. Okay, I went there with my the, my then boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend and my ex-boss. Dengan his son, okay, 10 years old. Okay? When you walk up the stairs some more. Then after we reached, we passed by houses. Then we went up already. Then suddenly we noticed like got one... um. One is the gate, gate like my other gate. One is other satu house yang belum built lagi. My boss, he's the type very stubborn one. He, if he not bought something, right, he musti bought. So then, he was like, oh, okay, maybe, right, to masuk the mountain, the hill, you can now, like, pass, walk into the rumah, okay? So I know already. Hello, you in jungle, kan? You don't do stupid shit. Ah, I, I know enough. So, but then, he was like, ah, okay, okay, must go inside this rumah. Then I'm like, this rumah, kan, it's not built yet, okay? He ambil son dia, yang, like, 10, 12 years old only, then they masuk dalam. Then I straight told my, my boyfriend, I was like, no, no, I'm not going in. Then my boyfriend, so he knows all this like, hantu-hantu stuff, then he's like, no way, because he pernah experience. Then he masuk already, kan? He masuk already, then suddenly it's like a loop. Dia keluar. Dia keluar dari rumah tu, then dia nampak confused gila. He's just like, eh? Hey? Like, didn't I just go in here? Kenapa I keluar lagi? Yeah, then he looked damn confused, he and the son. Then my boyfriend like, wait, don't go in lah, because the time, like, like, we know already, don't go stu- do stupid thing. So my boyfriend, so he just went in, wanted to go and like, grab, take him out. But then my boyfriend, once he go in already, right? Then suddenly, he like, he can feel the aura and He went in already, then suddenly he want to turn left that time, it's hitam, okay? Then he straight stop. Then he was like, nope, we have to get out of here. Then I straight like, I also, okay, I panic gila. I'm like, oh, you, I cannot speak Vietnamese lah. Apa ni? I said, nak nak balik lah. I'm damn scared. And I really, really damn scared of ghosts on. Then we we asked the lady downstairs, the lady, because we buy idea, dia duit kan. The lady was like, yeah, you just go up. But then we were like, okay, tak boleh. So I asked the the, the, the lady, okay, macam mana nak, 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 nak ke atas kan. Then she's like, you see the gate too? So the gate, right, because the reason why dia tutup is because someone like set fire on the hill like like two weeks ago or something. So the 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 the, the, the Halong Bay, the, the government stopped, uh, shut it down for a while. So anyway, but then right, my boss brought his son 
cause got a hole mah. Young people trespass. He there say okay, jangan trespass. He brought the son go inside the the lubang. What? Very stubborn, ah, your boss. Damn stubborn, cause he not ambil sunset. Okay, just imagine this guy videographer. Dia ambil time lapse. He was like, no, mesti ambil sunset, cause the view is really very nice, based on pictures lah. But then, when my boss went up already, right? We realized, cause I holding the backpack. I'm holding all their water. Ha base man. They be like, cannot lah, we cannot just leave them there, can? So, okay. Me and my friend like lah, must do this already. Okay lo. So we do. But then we said we must come down by sunset. So okay, we go. Okay, we go that time. And this hill is not like just walk up, okay? You must like climb on rocks, one, okay? So it's damn hard to go up. So you must climb rock, climb rock some more. Okay, we went up already, okay, very nice. Some more very nice, okay. Sunset, okay. Just imagine this guy they bought time lapse. Gunna, he must stay until dark for a full time lapse, right? But we told him, cannot, we must come down. We don't even know this place. And this place is not like easy route. And it's gonna be hitam. And we must keluar from the lubang semua. We must come down by sunset. He tak nak. He said, no, I have to stay here until night time. Wait. Then we damn stressed. We are like, no, cannot, cannot, cannot. I was like, no, I confirm we'll go down. We, we, we negotiate dengan dia, the boss. We say like, we want to bring your son down. The most important thing is your son. Cause like dangerous. Cannot see habis. So then in the end, he's just like, okay, fine. You bring your son down. So he stay, my boss, at, at the top himself, okay? The rest of us, wait, wait long enough already. We just like, cannot, mesti keluar. Okay, uh, not like 10 minutes after we like start descend kan to 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 turn the the hill sunset dah nak hitam already. Man, I tell you I damn angry. I damn angry. I was just like please please I don't want to hear or say it or like see anything. My ex-boyfriend, my then boyfriend lah. He can sense one. Okay? And so then right, when we came down already, right? Then I remember I was at the back at first. I was like, cause three of us, right? I'm at the last. So I walk, walk already. Then I remember I keep like, I just like, not turn je. Then my, my then boyfriend, she suddenly like, cause he walk, walk halfway, then he'll stop. Just to look around. But then I know, right, that he can sense. So I just like, pretend like, takde, takde. I just say, go, 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 go. Let's just go. And halfway, he just stopped. Then he look at me. Then he's like, Brenda, you go first. Then I was like, oh, okay lah. Safer for me also, right? I faster also. So, so then my, then after that, we just walk, 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 walk. So must climb rocks some more. Then I, cause I will always check whether everyone's behind me, right? Then few times, right? Every time I check, right? Then I can just see, right? My boyfriend just stand there. Then he just like stare. Then I actually habis la. Then I actually, come on, let's go. We have to go. We have to go. Then I know I cannot say names. I cannot, cannot jerry in the in hutan, okay? I know I'm very smart. Okay, then now my. <laughs> so, so then, so then anyway, then until got one part, there's this one part, right? Y- you come down, naturally, right, if you don't think, you will just keep going down. There's a route, okay? But actually, the right exit is on the left. You must go underneath a tree, okay? But because we're so tired and dark, right? So, um, that time, we went, I went, me and, I just brought everyone go straight down. Then luckily, suddenly, my, my then boyfriend was like, Eh, wait, we didn't go down here Because I remember we make a left And he remember a leaf So he straight away, uh, no, come back up Then we're like, okay, 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 okay. Nevermind, so we come back up somewhere Nevermind, okay It's already dark, right? Eh? Dark already, dark already So then, so then we use phone, okay, as the torchlight My oh battery my dying no. though It's like serious, like bad timing Anyway, because I take pictures So anyway, so then we went down already, right Then we must pass by this room, ah Bodo lah, you know, always got this like abandoned house So right, we pass by this abandoned house then I know already, abandoned house, confirm is bad. <laughs> so never mind, I pass by, I walk damn fast. I walk damn fast already, right? Once I pass the house, I turn back to check, alright? My boyfriend that time, he stopped. He just looked at the house. That I know already. Actually, we have to go. Like, stop. Don't stop. We have to go. Like, don't stop at all. In the end, we made it out, okay? We made it out. But then my boss still up there, right? So... So then we just like decided to wait at like a, a coffee shop nearby. Then we messaged him some more. I said, we say like, you have to come down. It's very dark. He never reply. Then the next message we got is, oh no, my battery is at 2%. Then we like, oh my God. Then he's like, coming down now. Then we just like, okay lah, we try to time it kan. To like, to like, cause we want to make sure we get his camera somewhere from the lubang. Then next thing I know, he's just like, it's very dark. I'm quite scared. Then we like, ha, base. So we didn't hear from him at all, okay? Anyway, at the end of it, 
at the end of it, he that he came to us. Then he looks like he damn grumpy some more. Okay, he like like very disoriented da. Okay, never mind. So he didn't say a single thing. He just like let's just go home. But then right, so on the way home some more, cause I think everyone very tired and very scared right. Then they they got into an argument. So finally, when we all decide the next day right, we decided to talk about experience right. This guy okay, imagine he very stubborn. He don't believe in ghosts some more. They start talking about it. Then you know what? Both of them, my boss and my boyfriend, then they said the whole time they were coming down, right? They could hear each other's voice calling each other. So right, every time they like stop somewhere, like like my at least for my boyfriend, right? They stop the time because it's because they can hear, hey, wait up, hey, Chris, or like, hey, or oh, he can hear his son, his son saying like, hey, come. Uh, uh, where uh, or like can hear the voice like we're talking in front, yeah, yeah. Then after that, the whole time, the whole time, right? He just so Chris kept thinking we were just in front of him, and then for like my boyfriend, he can hear like suddenly it's like, hey, wait up, man! Like hold on, hold on, I'm here, kind of thing. So that's why that like every time they just stop, right? It's because like they're like, eh, you could like like should we wait, kind of thing. Oh. Okay, seorang so itu je sesi seram jam 12 malam ni. Semua okey eh? Terhibur. <laughs> Dan juga hadap tak korang pun lah. Boleh tidur malam ni dengan baik. And korang um dia sebab begitu memang kita orang tengah shoot ni memang pukul 12 sekarang dah pukul 1:22 minit pagi. Ya yeah, tu. So korang jangan lupa untuk like, share dan juga subscribe. Okey semua. Selamat malam. Jumpa lagi dalam video yang seterusnya. Aina. 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 <laughs>